The bodybuilding world has been shaken up by the intense matchup and insane placings at this year's Hurricane Pro Show. From shocking upsets to triumphant victories, the competitors brought lightning and thunder to the stage. In this video, we'll break down the wildest placings and tell you who came out on top of this storm. Men's Classic Physique Top Placings, starting off the shocks was O'Shanda Roden in 10th place. The third place finisher at the San Antonio Pro stumbled here, sparking debate among fans. In ninth, Zach Romano failed to make the impact many expected after his fourth place finish last year. It seems the mass monsters have gotten even bigger while Zach stayed the same size. Cracking the top eight was Eric Ablon. Though he brought his best from the New York Pro, the Hurricane lineup exposed weaknesses in his physique. He'll need to bring more devastating conditioning if he hopes to win a show this year. Seventh place went to Anthony Barbera. Despite fourth place in San Antonio, the Hurricane Pro proved to be his toughest test yet. Though his hard work is apparent, he'll need a complete overhaul to his structure and flow to take home a Sando. Emilio Bourne blitzed his way into the top six, shocking fans who expected him to be top three. Though his 2021 pro card set high expectations, his lack of pro experience was clear against the Hurricane Titans. Now let's get to the biggest upsets. The insanely gifted Xanier Gatorpour took a demoralizing fifth place. His otherworldly muscle was no match for the complete packages ahead of him. In fourth, Michael Palm brought his best but couldn't hang with the top three. Conditioning and structure issues are holding him back from reaching his peak. Rounding out the top three, Corey Amy's ninth in San Antonio had fans doubting him. But his razor-sharp conditioning and dramatic improvements silenced the haters. He's officially a rising threat in the IFBB ranks. In the second position, we have Siam Goosens, who recently took fourth place in the Shero Classic France and T.R.U. Athlete Pro Shows. Keep your eyes on him. He's destined for greatness. Now for the champ. Nathaniel Joyner proved unstoppable in claiming the crown. His USA show victory last year was no fluke. With sweeping improvements to his back, arms, and legs, Joyner has etched his name among the elite. Men's physique top placings, in 10th place, Brock Jenkins brought his trademark shape but sacrificed conditioning. After his USA Pro Card and LA Grand Prix, this is a wake-up call to bring his best package. Jamal Everett clawed his way to ninth after disappointing placings this year. He proved he still belongs among the elite with his renewed conditioning and balance. Brett Jackson continued his frustrating string of near misses in eighth. With five shows this year but no wins, he's gone back to the drawing board to finally get over the hump. Seventh went to the season Deke Walker. His Atlanta and Tampa placings didn't carry over here. He'll need to modernize his physique to hang with the new breed. Winston Sullivan slid into the top six, redeeming himself after lackluster showings lately. The Hurricane Pro proves he's still a threat. In fifth, Banquil Marigny backed up his St. Louis Pro win, affirming his Olympia qualification. His granite conditioning and streamlined physique will ensure he's in the hunt this year. Hossein Karimi astonished in taking fourth. The Dark Horse has now upset two shows in a row and his eyes are set on the coveted Olympia stage. Snatching third was Christopher Barr, validating his Daytona Pro third place was no accident. With razor sharpness and ideal structure, he's vying for the crown. Giving the champ all he could handle in runner-up was Mitty Cabbage. After huge improvements since the Vancouver Pro, he's hungry for gold in his next showdown. And claiming first was Carlos de Oliveira. His LA Grand Prix win stalled, but he roared back with a vengeance in the Hurricane Pro. With crushing conditioning and shape, Carlos already qualified for 2023 Olympia. Now he sets his sights on next year 2024 Olympia. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling journey through the 2023 Hurricane Pro results. Let me know who you think got robbed or if you agree with the placings. And hit subscribe if you want more bodybuilding coverage and contest breakdowns. I'll see you all in the next video.